This is shortleaf pine. Oh. And shortleaf pine has twos and threes. Usually more twos than threes. But yesterday, I don't know if it was half and half, there, there were definitely more of each type. Twos and threes on the same tree. So if it's a lone pine like this, that works pretty good. If there happens to be Virginia pine, and pitch pine, and shortleaf pine all together, Table Mountain, well then you got twos and threes anyway all over the ground, right? So that isn't so good. But twos and threes. And then if you look at them up there, in comparison to Virginia pine and Table Mountain pine, they're not that short, but it's called shortleaf pine. Well, the reason it's called that is it's really common where loblolly and longleaf grow in the woods. So when you got loblolly and longleaf, you can see why they call this one the short needle one, right? Shortleaf pine. So here in the mountains, it's sort of a bit of a misnomer, okay? So don't start like putting Virginia, you know, this for Virginia and stuff, thinking, oh, well, they're short, because they're definitely longer than Virginia. In the bark, you'll find tiny little pits. They kind of look like moon craters, about the size like a pencil point would make. Some of them will even have like a little rim around them, like a crater. You see any? Am I getting yeses? Okay, that's a good key feature. Those are actually resin pits, and if it was a warmer day, sometimes they're even wet with resin. But you'll, you'll see that they're like oily, damp around. So resin pits in the bark. Then it gets very flat, platy bark, but kind of reminiscent of pitch pine a bit. Don't you think a little bit? Right? But pitch pine, no resin pits. And then last good difference is the cone. And I saw, Allison, you had a cone? Yeah. yeah. They, the cones not, don't typically open up all the way. And the, the scales stay very flexible. Like you can, you can always kind of squeeze a short leaf pine cone. Yeah. Whereas, you know, pitch pine, the, the, they bend way back. Virginia pine, they open and bend way back. These kind of open halfway and stay very squeezy and flexible. About the size of Virginia pine, though. But that flexible scale on them is a good thing. And then lastly, uh, they're typically very straight and very good pruners. This one is not the prettiest shortleaf pine. Like, you know, look at it and go, that's a pretty good tree. But they get very straight. They make poles out of them, very straight and very limb free. And this has got a lot of dead limbs on it too. Uh, so most look better than this, even ones here in the mountains. It's more common over on the Piedmont and through the Southeast, but we definitely have them here. This is native.